Mechanics M1, May 2012, question 6. Question 6 is a moments question modelling a ladder resting against a wall. Part 1, we have to draw a diagram showing all the external forces acting on the ladder. If we start at the ground at A, there will be a reaction force and because the ground is rough there will be friction to prevent the ladder from slipping. The weight of the ladder, 150 newtons. The weight of the man, 800 newtons. And then at the end, B, a perpendicular reaction force where the ladder touches the wall. At this stage, I'm going to deal with the information that tan theta equals 12 over 5. We draw a quick triangle, and using Sokotoa, that means that the 12 has to be opposite the angle and the 5 is adjacent. Using Pythagoras, I have a hypotenuse of 13, which gives me that sine theta is 12 over 13 and cosine theta is 5 over 13. I'll be using these throughout the question. An alternative method would be to work out the angle by saying that theta is the inverse tan of 12 over 5, which gives an angle of 67.38 degrees. Part 2, we're taking moments. So the first force we come to is the 150, and the perpendicular distance is adjacent to the angle, so I'm going to be using cos. So the moment, which is force times perpendicular distance, will be 150, times 2 cos theta, which gives me 1500 over 13, and that is in a clockwise direction. Next force is the weight of the man, 800. Again, the perpendicular distance is beside the angle, so I'm going to be using cos. So my moment is 800 times 3 cos theta, which gives me 12,000 over 13 and this is also in a clockwise direction. Third force is the reaction force. This time using alternate angles the angle theta is at the top and the perpendicular distance is opposite the angle so I'm going to be using sine. So b times 4 sine theta gives me 48b over 13 and this will be in an anti-clockwise direction. Using the fact that anti-clockwise moments equal clockwise moments gives us 48b over 13 equals 1500 over 13 plus 12000 over 13. So 48b equals 13500. So b must be 281.25 newtons which to 3SF is 281 newtons. Part 3, I'm going to use equilibrium of forces and I'm going to look at the vertical direction first and that gives me that the reaction at A is 800 plus 150 so R must be 950 newtons. If I then look at the horizontal forces that tells me that the friction has to equal B, which I've just worked out is 281 newtons. Finally, I'm going to use that friction equals mu R, so 281 has to equal mu times 950, so mu is 281 over 950, which gives an answer to three significant figures of 0. 2, 9, 6.